Hi guys! Today I'm gonna tell you about how I bought my Fiat. That is, what I took into consideration and why I think it was important. And finally, what are its strengths and weaknesses. I'm gonna start with how I found this car. I went on my local Craigslist and searched for a listing from an individual seller. I started by setting the display order to buy price and lowest first, and looking on the pictures of the cars. However, it shouldn't be surprised that most of them looked almost too good to be true. As you might have guessed, they weren't. After I've settled on one offer and visited the seller, I quickly found out that these cars were basically a piece of junk. So I had to change my strategy. Normal person would probably just stop looking for a car that is so cheap, but not me. I kept on looking, but this time I was looking for a car that would have visible defects on the photos. At the same time, I paid more attention to the description in order to look for a car that will be well maintained. And I mean just well maintained, nothing more. No fancy inside, nor the greatest looking engine. I found a suitable offer and called the guy. After I saw the car for real, I realized that it would be lots of work on the body. However, it didn't stop me from asking the guy if we can drive to a local mechanic in order to see the car's chassis using his channel. Good for him that he agreed, because it has actually convinced me for this car. The chassis looked great compared to the other cars in this price range I've seen. Ok, let me explain what I mean by that. The overall cost of having a good Fiat 126P is the cost of the car itself and the cost of the work you have to do. As you can see some of the parts are a bit rusty. However, these are the parts that you can just buy and swap out, no welding required. Most of these cars have issues on the chassis itself, which makes it extremely expensive to repair. You have to hire somebody to do it for you, unless you are a welder yourself. For example, let's take a look at the leaf spring. It's mostly ok, but I might want to change it, as well as the some part of the steering system, which seems pretty corroded. It's not a problem, because I can simply buy new parts and throw them in myself. However, if the mount of the leaf spring was corroded, I would have to pay somebody to recreate this spot using seal sheet and weld things back together. And trust me, the prices start to get serious really quickly. Same thing is though with the rear suspension arms. They aren't the cheapest to replace, but certainly cheaper than welding and recreating parts of the chassis. Here you can see what a healthy floor looks like. Although there is a tiny bit of the corrosion on the reinforcement, it can be easily cleaned off. Remember when I said just well maintained? Yeah, there is something to it. As you can see the previous owner took corrosion protection really serious, but he didn't bother to fix the body. I fully understand it and am more than happy to accept it. Here you can see some serious outbreaks which will more than surely need welding. But the chassis is the most important thing. But why, you may ask? Well, the answer is simple. Because in order to pass the certification process, it has to actually be fully technically working, but it doesn't have to look pretty at all. I'm not sure if this project will ever be finished, so my main priority is to get it as technically perfect as I can. After it's certified, re-registered and gets its new plates, I will happily pay someone to fix the body. So, if you didn't get it already, when looking for a car that you're going to convert into EV, check for the good chassis first. Start by checking local Craigslist first and stay away from resellers. Only the current owner will tell you technical details about the vehicle such as recent repairs, history of collisions, small defects and so on. Mine for example has a problem with second gear and I'm sure no reseller would have told me that. And of course you can always haggle. Overall I'm very happy with the deal I've made. The seller was very nice and lowered the already great price. I hope this video helps you get some sense about how to find a good deal. So, see you in the next video.